everyone, the Bird Brains here and today we are doing some paperless animation. So this week's video will focus on the main differences between the brush and the pencil tool. Because right off, they look very similar, but they have very different purposes in their little lives. So first let me just draw a brush stroke on the left and a pencil stroke on the right. Alright, so right off they look the same, but as soon as I'm gonna go get my contour editor and circle them, we'll see that their vector skeleton is quite different. So the brush is great for sketches because the vector points are on the surrounding. So if you take your contour editor and start pulling these little points, you can create masks and shapes very easily for all your compositing needs. But what if I'm trying to make my line art with my brush and I want to bend that line a little? Uh, good luck bending a brush line. It's not, it's not made for that. It's gonna create some weird stuff. If you want to do some line art, the pencil is actually what you want to use. Because if I go get my contour editor and I look at the vector skeleton inside of it, you can see that there is a spine going through uh, the line, allowing me to create some very cool and very easy S shapes to make my line art. Because that's what the pencil was made for, to make your line art. Alright, but what if I want to make a shape with this and I want to edit the contour? Uh, it's not possible. Not like the brush that allows you to make some very cool stuff. Another advantage of using the pencil line to clean instead of the brush is that once you drew a brush line, uh, what you draw is what you get. You cannot edit it. Well, you can kind of scale it, but that's, all the, that's the only thing you can do. On the other hand, the pencil line, if you select it, you can change the size after you drew it. You can even change uh, how it looks. You can change the texture. So it's a very, very powerful tool to use in production to clean up your character. You can even work with full vector and only put the texture in compositing using a color of, right? Uh, I've known some people that did that because they had a very, very slow computer. However, of course, the Toon Boom team made it possible to get your brush stroke to act kind of like your pencil line. And they got your pencil line to act kind of like your brush stroke. And when I say kind of, it's because there's some limits. Like they're trying to mimic each other, it's not perfect. So if you go in, in here, uh, you have two options. One is called the centerline editor and one is called the pencil editor. So the centerline editor is actually trying to make your brush stroke act like your pencil line. So when I click on it, it gives me like kind of a fake skeleton inside. So what I'm moving right now is a brush stroke. So it's still very powerful. The place where it's going to break is usually at the very end. Man, Harmony is being very nice today. Usually it breaks. Yeah, that's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. It's going to break your line eventually if you try to push it too far. But if you're just trying to make a quick sketch, like this here, and I want to move that arm a little bit, then it's very great to use your brush stroke with that tool. Alright, and if I go on the pencil side, if I click on my pencil, oh, that's neat, I now have some points that are surrounding my shape. So I cannot edit, the, I cannot edit how the shape bends with that tool, but if I take these little dots, I can change the size and the... I can fake it kind of thick and thin on my pencil line. And what is very powerful with that is that if I go back to my contour editor and I move my line, it's going to keep that same thick and thin look. So uh, yeah, these two tools are very, very powerful to use with your line and your brush. So concerning the center line editor, if you want to edit these points, it's exactly like you would do it with your contour editor. So as usual, if you select your dot, you have these little handles that appear. If you want to break your handle, press on Alt. If you want to snap them back together, make them talk face to face to each other and they're going to be besties again. If you press on control, you can add more control points. And if you want to remove these control points, just nudge the line a little bit and it will be optimized. Now, if we go to the pencil line with the pencil editor, if I press on alt, I'll be able to edit these little handles and break them and if you want them to connect to each other you just need to put them face to face and they're gonna be besties again and if you want to add more control points to your line you just press on control and you click so the the small thing with the pencil is that it will actually add one point on each side this is because if you choose a point and you want to change the size it needs to be a relative to both sides right you can also click on the line between two lines to create some kind of bumps in it Sometimes it's useful, who knows? Uh, last but not least, if you have multiple pencil lines and you want to only edit one line, you can click on it and then even if you select overboard, it will only select what you have now. If you want to edit both lines at the same time, you can just not select anything and just make a big circle and it will select points on both of them. 
pretty useful if you want to affect the whole character and pretty useful if you only want to have one part of the character. When it comes to textures, uh, I will start over. <laughs> when it comes to textures, you can, get, you can take your brush, for example, and go here in the little triangle and it's gonna pop up the little brush creation menu. Um, so I won't get too much into the details with that because they work like most of other softwares, uh, brush creation things. Uh, but in Harmony, if you use the vector brush, you, are, you can use the vector brush or you can also go in brush type and get a textured vector, which is honestly one of my favorite features of the whole software. It allows you to draw with a very painterly or like bitmapy style line while still being able to edit it just like you would with a vector. Of course, if you zoom in, it's still a bitmap. It's gonna look ugly. It's a line that looks like a bitmap, but that you can edit just like it was a vector. And the one little advice I would give if you're using textures, if you want to put paper texture on it, just be sure to go there and unclick the align. It's going to give you a way more random effect that is actually prettier. So just be sure to uncheck that. Unless, unless you want it to be aligned, but usually people like it better when it's more random. And when it comes to the pencil texture, you can just draw something here quickly. I'll place the texture after. And there I have a texture. If you want to move it, you can use the edit gradient texture option. And it should give you a little widget like that, that you can either make your texture smaller or wider. You can also move it around like this. So there's lots of stuff you can do with that little widget. If you want more info, I'll put a link to the documentation in my description. And last but not least, if you want to create a pencil that already has texture inside, you can apply the texture right there using these little uh, options. Of course, you can create your own texture for your brush and your pencil line, but that will be for another video. So with that, have a wonderful day and I will see you next week for another short video about Harmony. So be smart, be creative and keep exploring the software. You might find something very cool. See you soon!